751, Big 550 KTRS. It is Veterans Day, and we've been touching on it uh, the last uh, couple of days. Here with us in studio from SSM Cardinal Glennon, uh, David Lloyd, Director of Primary Care, Jessica Chambers, Director of Radiology, and Garrett Dorr, SSM Health Recruiter. David, Jessica, and Garrett, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You guys are helping veterans find jobs in healthcare. What's going on? Right. Uh, we thought uh, having a virtual event would be um, really easy for veterans just to call in, um, get some answers with what we have open in terms of jobs, um, you know, and then really help them understand how their experience in the military translates into, you know, skills that we desperately need in, in health care. So you wouldn't necessarily think that a veteran, an uh, untrained medical person might have a job opportunity at Cardinal Glennon. So what type of jobs are we talking about? Right. So uh, w when you look at the skills that military folks can bring in and veterans can bring in to, to health care, uh, it's just not being the physician or the nurse or the medical assistant. There's there's contracting positions. There's, there's human resources positions. There's a lot of transferable skills that a military person and, and a veteran brings to uh, SSM Health as a whole. Um, a lot of different skills that, that they're, they're taught and they're, they're, they, they learn through however many years that they serve. Jessica, you're a veteran yourself. Yes, I am. Talk about uh, your experience being uh, working in the military and then transitioning to a uh, civilian job. So I was fortunate enough that I was trained in the medical field in the military. I was an x-ray tech and a CT tech. Mm -hmm. And then when I got out, I was looking for a job. And what SSM did really well was figure out how to translate my training from the military because I don't have a diploma like mm -hmm. someone who went to school did. Right. So they took the time to go over everything with me so that they could really understand where I was and fit me in the right place. One of the things we hear is that businesses don't understand the how valuable somebody who is world-class trained which is sort of sad but it's glad to see cardinal glennon understanding that with a little bit of help and a little bit of massaging you can find the right job for somebody right yeah i mean i think that's all of ssm um you know saint mary's saint Clair, cardinal glennon depaul um you know i was prior service as well in the marine corps um and you know i carried a gun around with me all day so um you know, I, I kind of, you know, found a home at SSM because they valued that. Um, but the, the, the prerequisite um, portion of the online ad might discourage sure. veterans because they don't have that college degree. They don't have three to five years of experience. But, you, but, but you're saying that's okay. That's, it is. All you have to do is you, you have to put it this way. You just throw it out there. Put it out there that you know, these are the skills that I have. I mean, everything that, that you've worked uh, and you have done. If you've taught in the military, you have that instructor piece, that's a valuable asset to have to, to put out there. I mean, uh, when I retired, I was in for 27 years uh, and retired out of the Air Force and uh, I set myself up well, had a, had a master's degree coming out of it, but sort of scratched my head thinking because, so really what am I gonna do? I right. figured I was gonna turn right around go back into the GS world and, and turn right around and put a suit on and go back on base and work. And actually my life took a 180 degree turn to, in the opposite direction. So you did a little bit of everything in just the military. Dabbled in, in lots of different things, uh, you know, a, a, a master of nothing really. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you could host a radio show. Je Jessica, <laughs> Jessica um, quickly, how intimidated were you coming from the military to a private sector job and how did Cardinal Glennon sort of help you sort of navigate that? It, it was a little bit different, especially when we went over, when I sat down with HR for them to kind of understand my experience. Right. And like I said, I didn't have a diploma. Um, I was registered in my career, but I didn't have that degree. So when you're applying for jobs, it, it is a little bit intimidating, but they did a good job of kind of crosswalking my resume. When I got out of the Air Force, even though I took a class on how to write a resume, I didn't realize how many little acronyms and stuff that made sense to me right. doesn't make sense to the normal person. Right. So instead of people just saying that means nothing to me, they took the time to understand, oh, she has a leadership background. Yeah. Um, leadership is a big thing that the military teaches you. And even if you're not in healthcare, I think it can translate over into a role in healthcare. And, how, and that gets lost in translation when you're writing a resume. Correct. What should a veteran listening to this 
do um, if they're interested? Uh, well, call in. Um, there's three different numbers to call. One of them is mine. Um, you know, and that way they could just get their answers, you know, today, tomorrow, Friday. Um, you know, it's all this week. Do you have a website um, where people can find out more information? Right. We send out a flyer, um, you know, so uh, it, it's just a question of, you know, picking up the phone because we didn't want to do something that was actually, you know, you had to go to a location. You know, we wanted to be able to say, you know, if you have transportation issues, call the number. All right. What's the phone number? Um, if your last name is A through H, uh, you're calling Chris Anderson, 314-989-2648. Uh, All right, I hold on a second. How about we just do one phone number yeah. and then Chris can pass them on to the right place? All right. Sounds good. All right. That phone, um, number, that phone number again? Yeah, I'll throw mine out. Garrett Door, uh, 636-498-5958. 5958. If you didn't get that, you can certainly call KTRS. When the um, when everybody opens up the doors, and we'll have that number for you. So if you miss it, we'll put that information at the front desk at uh, KTRS. That is uh, David Lloyd, Jessica Chambers, Garrett Door from Cardinal Glennon. Guys, thanks for coming in. Thanks, thanks for having us. Quick check. Traffic and weather next.